What's up, guys? I'm Debixie, and let's get into this garbage pile. It's, this is rough. This is going to be rough. I don't know. I'm either going to get a really good box or an absolute fucking trash can box, guys. There's no in-between with this set. There's so many reports of just absolute garbage that people get and absolutely, like, crazy packs where they get, like, four rares in a single pack for the entire box or crazy stuff like that. Anyway, not to mention, I was hoping to open two of these for you guys, but uh, Amazon pushed back my or order to April, so, and a lot of people are reporting, or I should go through the comments since there's a possibility of getting rares and stuff there, a lot of people are reporting that Amazon's canceling their orders too, so, it's just another thing. Cloud Key, that's a good one, was like $70 before the reprint, Vampire Hex Mage, nice. So far, nothing crazy. But who knows? Hoping to get this up right after I'm done recording it or soon after. But my phone and all that jazz, who knows? Ronda, True Name Nemesis, that's a good one too. But all of the value in this set is in pulling a foil time shifted. Foil time shifted card. Like, the average value for one of those, I think, is like, uh, what is it? Like, I think the average is around $20. Benelish Command. Ooh, and a foil, not time-shifted. I'm surprised they didn't have uh, foilings in every, or foil cards in every pack. I'm surprised they put it to where it's like an actual like, set box, where it's every other, every few packs. Trinket Mage. Oh, holy shit. I can't believe I got that right out of the gate. True Name Nemesis. Foil. Nice. I think that's one of the more expensive ones. Could be wrong, though. I think it's better for uh, Modern than it is for Commander. So, who knows how it's doing value-wise. Rai the Cursed. Treasure Cruise. Nice. Dread Return, that's a good one. Paradise Plume. Thelonite Hermit. Farseek, that's a good one. And Smallpox for a foil in the back, nice. There's also reports of people getting like uh, three foil time shifted in a single box. So, that's pretty nuts. But there's also reports of people getting none. So, <laughs> I mean, we already got one, so that's good. Summoner's Pact, it's like the third one I've pulled. Trigon Predator, at least of all the packs I've opened. I've opened a few that I bought from my local LGS off camera. I've gotten quite a few Summoner's packs now. That's a foil. $180 for that foil? That's, holy, that's ridiculous. So True Name Nemesis is $180 for the foil? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Oh, sweet, Yawgmoth Thran Physician. This is actually the only card I wanted in this set. <laughs> Here, let me get out my uh, Speaking of value. sleeves. Where are my sleeves? I don't know where. They were right here. Uh, sure, I guess so. I'll put True Name Nemesis in this sleeve. Better than nothing. Yeah. Right there. I can't believe that's worth $180. <laughs> just so you guys know, I have my buddy Colin here. Just, he's looking to pick up some of these cards. So, nope. hoping I draw something for him. People go crazy for tribal, so I'm not even surprised. <laughs> I guess. Alicia, who smiles at death. That's ridiculous. Like, what? Does the battlefield choose a player? Has protection from the chosen player. That's Just pretty so decent. You know, the regular non foil, $8. That's, that's so stupid. Like, why? Angel of Salvation. Gurmog Angler. We haven't seen a single mythic yet. <laughs> We're about a third of the way through. I mean, that this true name Nemesis is essentially a mythic. Jesus. Why are the foils so expensive? What? Aeon Chronicler. Sorcerer's Spyglass. And a foil feebleness. Nice. I bet half of it is just in the, the old order that they brought back. Just yeah. so people uh, like, can get that nostalgic 
look to their cards. Yeah. And I guess, I don't know, it is really rare to pull, so I guess there's that. Teleria West, Consuming Aberration, and a Grinning Ignis. I guess it's the rarity of it, but that's, it's still, like, how rare really is it? Like, it's one in every box, roughly, that you get one of those, but, like... Now that orders are being cancelled? <laughs> pretty rare, I think. <laughs> Joy of the Gitu, Molten Rain. I like the art for a lot of these uh, tokens, actually. Like looking at the lists, and, uh, this set certainly got the, got the right art for what I'm, my taste sets. Yeah, it's pretty good. Personally, I'm not crazy about slivers, but I know a lot of people really enjoy them. If that's your jam, this this is a good set for it. Ith High Arcanist, Monastery Swift Spear. Okay, almost about halfway through this box. No Mythics yet. I mean, I pulled the value of the box, so that's all that matters, but... It'd be nice to hit a Mythic. <laughs> At least one, right? Yeah, Grenzo Dungeon Warden. Edge of Autumn. So, I'm sure it's not the first box you've opened. <laughs> uh, even for the channel, with no Mythics. Not no myth. Uh, uh, yeah, very low mythics. <laughs> Master of Pearl Trident. I think the best normal, not foil, um, time shifted card is Thoughtseize. So, but then I think Chalice of the Void. Ooh, Pact of Negation. That's a good one. Not sure how much that's worth now. I think it's like probably around fifteen. And a foil swarm yard. That's a good land. But uh, I think Thought Seize is the most expensive non foil time shifted at around 30, I think, right now, or 15, something like that. While uh, Chalice of the Void is the most expensive foil one at a pike. Holy shit. Of all the. I think it's like um, $250. Sliver Legion. That's a. That's, I think, the best Mythic you can pull yeah. at, like, $60 or something like that. Talking about the, the top-priced cards in, in the set, right? Yeah, Read the Bones. That's a good one. And a Foil, Cross and Grip. <laughs> Man, the value in the set's actually sort of ridiculous. Yeah, um, it's a little busted. Also, considering <laughs> that they, Wizards is, you know, cutting off all more, all of the extra production, it's, um, it's a real shame. Yeah. So that card, $60. S Sliver Legion is 60 right now? Yep. Oh my gosh. I'm glad uh, Cross and Grip got reprinted though. It was creeping up a pretty, or er, creeping up pretty high. Mm. Pongify, Phantom Worm, Joda's Avenger, Draining Welk, Felt into the Third Path. Alright. So I mean... <laughs> What is that? In these two cards, we've pulled two hundred and forty dollars in value. Yeah, that's we. Yeah, yeah. And problem. this box, I paid a hundred and sixty for. It was a really good deal. Yeah. Damnation. That's another really high end mythic. So uh, it's also nice. Another topper for the set at uh, about twenty five ish. I mean. Of the mythics to pull, if we if we didn't pull any more mythics, I know the average is like five. If I didn't pull any more mythics, I wouldn't be that upset. <laughs> like, I think you've got a, a good cut right now. Yeah, stronghold rats, fire maw, arc blade, sedge slivers, ethereal armor, and a spider token. That's a pretty nice. I like the art on that. Thelion of the Havenwood, Tide Hollow, and an Errant Doomsayer in the back. What are like the top five most expensive cards in the set? Um, that are currently selling right now. Uh, it seems to be... Oh! <laughs> Another really good mythic gemstone caverns. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that might be one of them. Uh, I think the top is Sliver Legion. Thought Seize, 
Chalice of the Void, Gemstone Caverns, and Tarmogify. What's Tarmogify? Oh, Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf. <laughs> Those are the top five right now? Yep. How much is Gemstone Cavern sitting at? Uh, Gemstone Cavern is, um, well, I think the foil price is actually what's being listed here. Uh, Sudden spoiling. Nope, it looks like to be about $30. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, so with the, the recent things going on, um, and, uh, the activity that's been discussed on MTG Finance and other, uh, discussion forums and boards, um, I would definitely assume that a lot of these cards are only going to go up in price. Um, yeah. I mean, of, of course, things are going to be opened and there's going to be more product on the market, but with all of these, like, signs, I can see a lot of people getting uh, afraid or, like, uh, freezing up and trying to buy, Fatal buy, lust. buy. Yeah. Man, I can't believe a booster box of this right now is going for, like, $320 at the minimum. So... Are you really that surprised? Yeah, I'm not that you? surprised, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, it's it's pretty ridiculous. What just flew on the ground that Oh, that thing? Don't worry about that. I guess the value is there, especially in a box like this. Ancient stirrings, piracy charm at the back. How many packs we got left? We got a few. About six packs left. Still room to pull another mythic or a foil time shifted. You know, I'm always, always happy to pull one of those. <laughs> Dreadship reef. I really like that they reprinted the storage storage lands. Yeah, they were never really my favorite, but they uh, they certainly work. Eternal witness is a good one. Yeah, I don't. I like them in certain decks, like uh, my Nekuzar deck, when that wasn't deconstructed. Mm -hmm. um, I remember that was a good way for me to have a really bursty turn. Mm -hmm. Salt Crusted Step. Skittering Dryad Arbor. I don't know why this is a card. <laughs> I didn't even know they reprinted this card in this set. Yeah. <laughs> Vanishing uh, it, Light. It definitely, um, going back to the, the story plans, um, they definitely make more sense in a lot of the slower decks like mm -hmm. that you see in Commander, but... Um, frequently if you just want to you know, pump out magic, magic, magic and use all of your uh, available mana every turn that you get um, yeah, they're not the best not the best, you're not going to have any chance to, to get any uh, colored mana at all, you're just going to be using the colorless yeah that's true, but yeah, for my Nekuzar deck it was a really slow deck but once I, I was able to have certain like really bursty turns exquisite firecraft but yeah, I know it's, especially if you're playing green, there's just no use for those cards. <laughs> All right, three packs left. Monic, Return to Dust. Sarah Avenger, nice. Mystic Confluence. Is that a, oh, yep, that is, that is a uncommon. Man, it's so hard to tell with the, how small that is. Zulport cut, Cutthroat, nice. Last pack, Let's see if we can get one more uh, foil in the back. Foil, <laughs> time shifted, or a mythic, either or. I'm at three mythics right now, which is really low. I mean, it. they're good mythics, but it's still really low. What's it going to be? Oh, Ancestral Visions, nice. Well, it's actually a good one. And uh, Abrupt Decay and No Foil in the back. So that does it for this box opening. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out the links down below. I have my Discord, Patreon, and uh, my Gmail if you guys want to reach out to me. Anyway, see you guys next time. Peace.